Hello everyone. In this video, I have discussed the reaction and mechanism of aldol condensation. I will share the reaction and mechanism of other naming organic reaction in my upcoming videos. Let's get started. In aldol condensation, two aldehyde molecules containing alpha hydrogen undergo reversible condensation in presence of a base to produce beta hydroxy aldehyde. The product is known as an aldol, so the reaction is referred as an aldol reaction. Before moving to the reaction, let us first understand the concept of alpha hydrogen. Consider the illustration using this aldehyde. Alpha hydrogen are those which are attached to the carbon bonded directly to the carbonyl group. Here alpha hydrogen are shown as, an, as a red color. Now consider one example of aldol condensation. Two molecules of acetaldehyde condense in presence of a dilute sodium hydroxide to produce beta hydroxy butanol. Other bases such as barium hydroxide or calcium hydroxide may also be used in place of sodium hydroxide. Here the beta hydroxy butanol is an aldol that is a combination of aldehyde and alcohol. ALD comes from aldehyde while OL comes from alcohol. Its mechanism. Step number one. Abstraction of alpha hydrogen of aldehyde by a base. The hydrogen atom attached to the alpha carbon atom is the most acidic among all the hydrogen present in the aldehyde. So, the hydroxide ion remove the acidic proton of alpha carbon atom to produce carbon ion. Step number two, nucleophilic attack of carbon ion on the second molecule of aldehyde. Since the carbonyl carbon is electrophilic in nature, so the nucleophilic carbon ion easily attack the carbonyl carbon of other aldehyde molecule to produce anion as you can see in the reaction step. Step number three, protonation and the formation of an aldol. The anion so obtained in the second step picks up a proton from the water molecule to produce aldol. However, there is a problematic issue with the stability of an aldol. They are not stable toward heating and mineral acid which cause the elimination of water molecule to produce an alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde. All these reaction right from the abstraction of hydrogen from aldehyde to the formation of alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde is known as aldol condensation. If you find my videos helpful then please like and subscribe to my channel. The aldol condensation is not limited to aldehyde. The condensation is also worked very well for the other carbonyl group that is ketone. So likewise aldehyde, the ketones containing alpha hydrogen also undergo similar reaction to produce beta hydroxy ketone which are also known as ketol. However, equilibrium is generally quite unfavorable and the yield are so low as in case of ketone, the ketol are also not stable toward heating and mineral acid which cause the elimination of water molecule to produce an alpha beta unsaturated ketone. For example, the acetone molecules condense in presence of a base like sodium hydroxide to produce 4 hydroxy 4 methyl pantan 2 own which then eliminate its hydroxy group as water to form alpha beta unsaturated ketone. Likewise alkali and acid also catalyze the aldol reaction. However, its efficiency is lower than alkali. The catalytic efficiency or action of an acid differs from alkali. 
at first the protonation of the carbonyl group takes place in presence of acid to form compound 1 at the same time the acid promote the compound to form its enolic form then the protonated carbonyl compound attack the alpha carbon of enol form of the other molecule to produce aldol which later eliminate the water molecule to give alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde previously we have discussed the aldol condensation using the example of acetaldehyde only what if we have a mixture of two aldehydes let us discuss the mixed aldol condensation when a mixture of two aldehydes both possessing a alpha hydrogen atoms is treated with a base like sodium hydroxide four different aldol products are formed two by self condensation of two different aldehydes and two by cross condensation of two different aldehyde for example acetaldehyde and propanolaldehyde undergo condensation to form a mixture of four products the first possibility is the formation of 3 hydroxy butanol from cell condensation of acetaldehyde the second possibility is the formation of 3 hydroxy 2 methyl pentanol from cell condensation of propanolaldehyde the third possibility is the formation of 3 hydroxy 2 methyl butanol by condensation of carbonyl from propanolaldehyde with acetaldehyde and the last one is the formation of 3 hydroxy pentanol by condensation of carbonyl from acetaldehyde with propanolaldehyde the aldol condensation between two different aldehyde is not of much value since a mixture of four products is obtained the next topic is cross aldol condensation in a mixed aldol condensation if one of the aldehyde doesn't have any alpha hydrogen then the formation of mixed product can be avoided here the carbonyl is formed from the alpha hydrogen contained aldehyde only moreover the aldol reaction may also occur between an aldehyde and a ketone if one of the component that is that is either aldehyde or ketone has no alpha hydrogen the reaction is called claisen schmidt reaction for example acetaldehyde and acetone give 4 hydroxy pantan 2 ohm the product indicates the formation of carbonyl from acetone in the intermediate step this is expected as a carbonyl group of ketone has less additive power than its corresponding aldehyde so aldehyde serve as a substrate for enolized ketone similarly an aldehyde that has no alpha hydrogen that is cannot undergo self condensation may undergo condensation with enolized ketone for example condensation of acetone with benzaldehyde here benzaldehyde doesn't have any alpha hydrogen so it cannot go self condensation next is the stereochemistry of aldol condensation it is generally observed that in aldol condensation mixture of erythro and thrio isomer are formed consider this example of cross aldol condensation here a ketone and aldehyde group condense to produce two isomer look at the orientation of hydroxy group in each isomer in erythro isomer the hydroxy group is located in front of the plane while in the thrio isomer the hydroxy group is behind the plane now i end this video here thanks for watching if you find my videos helpful then please like and subscribe to my channel see you in the next video of this series